A continuación presentamos el devocional diario traducido al inglés. En español lo puede encontrar de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias por el canal de YouTube. Centro Evangélico Vida Nueva. Dejamos más información abajo en la descripción del vídeo. Good morning, my dear brethren and friends. May the Lord bless you very, very richly. You have probably have seen this place in a movie. I find myself in the backyard where many years ago the prisoners that found themselves in the island of Alcatraz came out to the to the yard to be able to take a little bit of the sun and rest a little bit after having been in prison for hours inside their jail, their jail cell. Well, I'm going to be sharing this devotional today from here that is going to be based in a proverb of the Bible, very beautiful, that is the Proverb 29, verse 25. The word of the Lord says that the fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe. The fear paralyzes people. Fear was one of the first sensations that Adam and Eve had when they said they heard the voice of God after having disobeyed him, after having sinned, and they were hiding from God because they heard the voice of God and they were afraid. How many people were afraid? Fear of the day, of the night, of the death, of the life, fears and fears and more fears. And the word of the Lord says that when a person has an encounter with the true God and the true love that changes and transforms lives, All fears and all anxieties disappear from our lives and from our hearts. In this place, surely many people lived full of fears. People that went out to this patio and probably it was the last day because maybe they were, there was somebody that wanted to end their life out of revenge. But this proverb says that the one who trusts the Lord will be exalted and blessed. In other words, it is worth putting our lives in the hands of God. It is the best decision that you can ever make. When you take, uh, when you take your life and trust Him and cling to Him and uh, cling to His promises and His word, you can sleep in peace and you can be in peace because the blessing of God is going with you wherever you go. That is why I'm addressing to all of you who have fear of someone or something. Let the Lord Jesus Christ break those chains of your life and you can be truly free and you can enjoy life and you can have the presence of the Lord every day of your life, in your life, in your home, in your family, in your work, wherever you go or live. When we trust in the Lord, the fears go away. When we trust in God, the peace comes to dwell in your hearts and we can be calm safe and confident because we know that we're not alone when facing the problems of life. Do you trust in God? Do you believe in the difficult moments of life when you're going through trials, struggles, and difficulties? Well, the list will be endless. However, we believe that we have a great advantage. When we have some problem, when we have some, provo uh, prov some provocation, we pray to our God. And we cry out to him and he who hears us and he knows perfectly well that what my life needs comes immediately and fills me with his sweet peace. I don't know if in this prison that today remains closed from the 1960s, there were prisoners who cried out to God. I don't know if their anguish and desperation, they sought the freedom that only Jesus can offer. But whatever the case, if you find yourself in a jail in a prison, spiritually speaking, if you're not free, if the fear has taken over your life for a long time, let the Lord do a miracle, transform you, change you radically, and you can tell other people, I live in fear for a long time, but now I'm free because I knew the truth and the truth set me free. Let's put our lives in the hands of the Lord. Put your fears, your anxieties, your worries, your current situation. Put it in the hand of our good God, trust in Him, and have the complete assurance that the Lord will exalt you, He will prosper you, He will bless you every day of your life, until the end of your life, wherever you are. So from this place that I have decided to do this devotional for all of you, uh, the Alcatraz prison, which I said is to remain, remains closed, 
But there are so many stories and so many things that happen behind these walls, in these cells that we just visited. Let's pray together and put our lives in His hands and trust in Him, giving Him thanks. Blessed Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege that you give us this morning to start a new day with you. Thank you because you have taken our anguishes and our anxieties and you have changed our morning into dancing and we can live in peace because you are our almighty God. Lord, we ask you for all the people that have been having problems and they're fearful that you will visit them today, that they will cry out to you and they will ask you, Lord, freedom, joy, peace, victory. And we ask, Lord, that all of that we can experience every day. Protect us every day from all danger and all evil. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I wish you all have a blessed day. May the peace of God accompany you today. And remember that we continue to organize our trips for the month of May for Israel. And also, my dear ones, a very special event that I want to announce it and encourage the brothers and sisters who live in Guatemala, Salvador, Honduras, Costa Rica to make an effort like they did last year. And in the month of June, we can meet there to be together praising the Lord and receiving a lot of blessing from Him. I wish you all have a, a good time and any information, you can contact us through our webpage, mividanueva.org. And there you will be able to have all the information that you need about our ministry and about our upcoming events. Greetings from, La, from the island of Alcatraz that we can say that now we're free because Christ has redeemed us with his blood and his power. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren.